grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute J. Milton Turner, born enslaved in St. Louis around 1840. As a child, he was sold on the courthouse steps. His father later managed to buy his freedom. He attended school aboard a steamboat to evade a Democrat law against educating black people. During the Civil War, Turner served as aide to Colonel of the 18th Missouri Infantry. He was wounded at Shiloh. Union restored, his former commander's brother-in-law, Republican Governor Thomas Fletcher, named him Assistant Superintendent of Education, tasked with establishing schools for emancipated slaves. This eloquent radical Republican led the Missouri Equal Rights League. In 1871, President Ulysses Grant named him Ambassador to Liberia. Home after seven years, Turner promoted black migration to Oklahoma. In 1880, the Negro National Republican Committee he chaired called on the GOP's National Convention to nominate Senator Blanche Bruce, a former slave, for vice president. Turner co-founded Lincoln University, a renowned HBCU. Safeguarding the rights of African Americans was another priority. He died on November 1st, 1915, from, from a railroad car explosion. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.